Hi everybody, this is Dylan James, Vice President for Listings here at NASDAQ. So great that you're joining us. So this conversation is all in part of our series around San Diego Week here at NASDAQ, which we couldn't be more pleased, thrilled, and excited to be putting a spotlight on this special area. Um, joining us today is a extremely awesome company. It's Dexcom. Dexcom's traded under the ticker symbol DXCM on the NASDAQ Global Select Market. Their um, CEO is Kevin Sayers, who joins me right now. And uh, let me just tell you a little bit about the company. Uh, Dexcom is 20 years old this year. They've been listed on NASDAQ since 2005. Absolutely game-changing in the area of continuous glucose monitoring. The company develops, manufactures, and distributes continuous glucose monitoring systems for diabetes management. And Kevin, thanks so much for joining us. It's well, great to you, see Dylan. you. It's yeah. good to be here. Um, can you tell, I know a, a, a tremendous amount about the company, but you, can you tell us a little bit about the origins of Dexcom? Sure, Dexcom was founded, as you said, 20 years ago, this year back in 1999. And the company's initial mission was actually to develop a continuous glucose monitor that would be implanted inside the body and last a long period of time. That task was really difficult. So our engineers and, and executives long before I got here made the decision, well, if we can't do it for two years, maybe we can do it for a shorter term uh, using a subcutaneous sensor like a week or 10 days like our current product and they switch the technology. And so it started there and then it's evolved to uh, the continuous glucose monitor that we have now, our, our, our G6 product to whereby uh, patients wear this and, and really don't have to stick their fingers anymore at all. Let's, let's unpack that a little bit. So sure. diabetes management requires a, a real fragile balance of a lot of different things. It's monitoring glucose levels, it's diet, it's exercise, it's lifestyle. And how does the Dexcom G6 uh, help diabetics transform care and management and what's different this time around? Sure. Our primary market up to this point in time has been intensive insulin using patients. Mm -hmm. So patients with type 1 diabetes or type 2 patients who take multiple shots of insulin a day. If you're going to inject insulin into your body, you need information. So the two, two tools that these patients have always needed are insulin and then information to make the proper decisions. What our product does today and what is different is we give the most accurate information of any continuous glucose monitoring system in the world. On top of that, we deliver it where the patient wants it. Our current system connects directly to the phone. It also connects uh, uh, partner's insulin pumps directly if you want it connected to your insulin delivery device. It can also be shared from your phone with other people. So if you have a child, parents can see the data. On top of that, we, we from the phone, we display on, on, on watch watches so patients can see it there. It's amazing. We've even built an API structure to share our data with other app developers because we can't develop every piece of software to help. You talked about all the other things that somebody with diabetes faces. So if you have, a, for example, a nutrition app that could benefit from glucose data, we've developed a structure whereby you can pull that data and put it into your app. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and we found that you know, some of our patients really like things like that. It's, it's completely game changing. Oh, it's completely different than what it's been before. Yeah. Do you have a favorite customer success story? You know what? The best part of my job is customer success stories because this product makes such a difference in somebody's life that they want to tell us, which is, you, you know, it, it's really good. Uh, and, and I'll just give you the, the most recent one, Father's Day. I got an email Father's Day morning at 9 o'clock from a Medicare patient who sent me an email to say, my blood glucose, my glucose values went down near 40 at four o'clock this morning. My Dexcom woke up my wife, she got up, she treated me, and because of you, I'm having Father's Day. Thank you. Pretty good stuff. I, I don't think it, it can get any better than that. It doesn't get any better than yes. that at all. <laughs> I know the company's incredibly committed to the diabetic community and helping patients take control of their diabetes management. Besides the G6, what else are you striving to do within industry? Our company, first of all, you, you said something very important. This is all we do, mm -hmm. is our continuous glucose monitoring technology. As we look at over time, we always look to make our products better. That means more convenient, smaller, easier to use, 
more accurate, more cost effective. So we have all those efforts going on. One of the other things that's really exciting me is as we look to the future, we believe glucose measurement technology can be applicable across all of diabetes. Mm -hmm. Type 2 diabetes, uh, patients who really haven't had the experience of continuous glucose data. With a type 2 patient, you find out what the effect of late night eating is, what mm -hmm. the effect, what we've seen in type 2 patients in studies, what the effect of that morning, whatever you call it, you buy from Starbucks drink has mm -hmm. on your glucose values. W one thing that's been eye-opening for these patients is oatmeal. Oatmeal spikes your glucose, particularly if you dump a bunch of brown sugar in it. So we believe glucose measurement can go to a number of other markets as well and provide great health care and, and health outcomes. We're even talking to people without diabetes who are using this tool as a, as a health tool. They're getting a prescription from their doctor, they're buying it, right. using it there. Our primary focus will always focus on those patients we serve today. Yep. But we see over time we can expand into other areas, kind of make glucose a vital sign with respect to health care. And then the electronics technology and the underlying technologies we developed, a longer term goal would be to measure other analytes uh, with other sensors. But that's all very early stage right now. What else can the medical community do to provide further education? And how do you translate that message into patient accountability? Is, the, is glucose and, and the acknowledgement of that, is that part of it? Oh, it's definitely part of it. Um, the medical community, as you, as you look at innovation over the past five years, I would take the product aside. The most important innovation we've had over the last five years is the medical community accepting continuous glucose monitoring mm -hmm. as a standard of care for these patients. And over time, if somebody has type 1 diabetes uh, or, or is using insulin all the time, those patients are, are, are getting access to our technology. With the medical community becoming more involved or you know, certainly more uh, open to continuous glucose monitoring than the people who pay for it follow. Mm -hmm. you know, one good example, we got Medicare approval in 2017. Uh, that has been a big catalyst for our business, but it's also been very good for the patient community. Mm -hmm. uh, these patients have been on insulin for a long time and to have this information available to them to whereby they can manage their glucose with a real-time value and see the trends, if it's going up, if it's going down, and not stick their finger anymore. That, that, that has been a, a wonderful uh, expansion. So I, I think the, the medical community has done a very nice job of helping us grow, and then over time, it's awareness into these other conditions where we can use glucose. So my last question for you, and by the way, I'm being NASDAQ, I'm gonna say you've had an, you've had an incredible uh, price appreciation and <laughs> equity have. over the last we three have. to five years. But as a business, um, the last three to five years have been completely game changing for you guys. Where do you see the next five years for Dexcom? It is the most exciting time you could ever imagine. I mean, last year we crossed the billion dollar sales mark, billion dollars in revenue at a point where we we're growing over 50%. So we went back and did research. Nobody in medical technologies crossed the billion dollar mark while still growing at 50%. And so in an era of rapid growth and rapid expansion, scaling our business, getting the new technologies out, managing our expenditures to become more of a, a mature company, yet focusing on the growth, there's nothing more exciting than where I work now. Yeah. And all the things that we're doing. I think, you know, as you come every day, like that story on Father's Day. Yep. That that's the most exciting thing you can ever have. Oh yeah. And 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 we'll continue to do that and our goal is to just delight more people yep. over the next several years. I'm going to remember that Father's Day story. That just brings it all home. It oh, makes yeah. it so real. <laughs> Very yeah. real. Yeah. Well, Kevin, I've enjoyed the conversation. We have we brought the Nasdaq Tower to San Diego. Would you mind playing a quick game with us here before hey, we wrap up? Uh, uh, listen, I'll play any kind of game. This will be great. Okay, Kevin, this is our game. This is a lightning right. round of sorts. This is the NASDAQ Tower. We're going to time us for one minute, and um, er, behind every single one of these plates is a question. Okay. And then all you got to do is answer the question, and you get the points. Pretty easy. Okay. Right? Here we go. Okay. I'm always willing to play a game. And let's go. Advice for 600. Okay, advice at the 600. Who do you look up to? I look up to my parents, my dad, and I've had great mentors in my life. Uh, I could make a list that would go on forever. That's awesome. Next question. Uh, let's go success for 800. Okay. I just as well get all the points I can. That's right. What are your metrics for success? Um, I set the bar very high. 
uh, and achieving the goals that, that we set, doing it the right way and taking care of people. Uh, don't let other people keep my score. We try and keep our own. That's right. Let's add to your score. What's next? Okay, uh, advice for 800. Okay, advice 800. What is your best productivity hack? My best productivity hack? I don't, I don't know that I have a best productivity. I, I, I don't have a, a hack. My best productivity advice for me is to stay organized. I make mega lists. There you go. So I'm a list That's guy. A I'm a list guy. Okay. Are we good on time? One more, 600, in, 600 okay. for inside look. 600 inside look. When you're not in the office, where can we find you? You can either find me at home, or with my grandchildren, or possibly on the golf course. That is awesome. Golf. That's the great places to be, all of them. All right, okay. Kevin, thanks very much. Thank this you been very enjoying. much, Dylan. It's been yeah. great. I want to thank Kevin Sayer, our um, guest again, the CEO of Dexcom. Thank you so much for continuing to watch. This is all part of San Diego Week here at NASDAQ, so we're excited to bring you more stories and more great content, and we'll see you next time.